hey friends, it's Tracy and Violet from Tea Time with Tracy and Violet. And I'm just sitting down to have a nice cup of tea because I've had a busy morning. I'm making ribs for supper. I went grocery shopping. I'm on my second load of laundry, which is spinning out now. And I opened some mail uh, from my friend Teresa and Amanda over on Nova Scotia Living Channel. But um, I got a box of books to open. I ordered them on eBay. I'm not a big shopper of eBay. Like, I, I just never think to do it. But I bought a Richard Lehman. I think there's 28 books for like 100 bucks. And I don't know what ones are in it. But we're going to open it today and see. I think I read a Richard Lehman book years ago. And I can't even remember what one it was. But he's a horror novelist. I don't know if he writes other things I don't really know much about him and if he's not of this earth anymore my condolences and I'm, I don't know I really don't know I should have looked that up before I started talking to you fellers but it came it was on my doorstep and it was sprinkling out yesterday but I caught it before it got too wet but I just noticed they put a Halloween sticker there I'm filming this early I'm gonna post this video in the future so yeah, our layman books, but I don't know where it came from. Perlater, Mississauga, Ontario. Must have been Ontario. But there's another Halloween sticker, so thank you. Thank you. So we're going to open it up, and we're going to investigate. Have any of you guys ever read Richard Layman? I'm sure I read something of his stuff. Gosh, I have oodles of books to read, so I won't get to these right away, but I was just like, oh, I love surprise boxes, and a lot of people like Richard Lehman, and I might really like them, and books are expensive, but if I can buy a big bunch of books that I might be interested in, I'm going to do it. I know not everybody likes to buy used books. I love used books. They come with such fantastic energy. Love. Somebody took the time to actually read every word of every page. And yeah. The first one is Among the Missing. Ooh. I don't want it to shine. Among the Missing. So I don't really know what any of these books are about. I won't. There's enough to go through that I don't need to read all of them. But I just wanted to show you. But oh. I should, I'm sitting down to tea. I should show you my tea cup first. I can't remember if she's been out with you guys before. Like I said, I've been doing laundry, so I'm hanging up wet towels on drying racks in my uh, dining room, which is in front of my cupboard with all my fairy and witch tea cups. So this is the only one I could reach, and she's beautiful. She's beautiful. Look, she even has a power, flower power in the middle. And she has three bands of gold. Um, uh, that's a part of a Prince song if you know that uh, gold up around the top and she's like flowered you can see kind of flowered there gold around her middle and at her bottom so um, and then she has gold on this side and on the back side but you see up at the top it's almost like a lightning bolt like she's making a statement so and then this is her skirt or pedestal and again it's kind of flowered around the edges and the three bands of gold so this one is from Paragon HM the Queen and HM Queen Mary fine bone China England registered 16684x whatever that means so and I don't have a teapot because I couldn't reach one. And I'm brewing this cinnamon cozy tea, Tetley tea, in one of my daughter's mugs. And I already had one snort off of this earlier, and it makes a mess. And I got a towel here to wipe it up. So, yeah, there. That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. I'm cheating. Oh, delicious, delicious. All right, 
uh, Funland. That looks like it must be a haunted carnival or something. Hmm. And this one has been well loved, but wonderful. Ooh, darkness tell us. Ouija board. Mmm. I'm sure some books are better than others, but I will take the time to read these books eventually. Uh, this one's called Cuts. Island. Maybe it's stranded on an island and it's haunted or something. I don't know. Zombies? Hard to tell. I really don't know. I really don't know anything about any of these books. If I come across one that looks familiar, I'll know. The Lake. This one is really tattered. But, and I can see people, whoever had this before, dog-eared the pages. But that's okay. I don't mind at all. Night uh, in the lo Night in the Lonesome October. Ooh, that would have been a good one to read around Halloween time, maybe. Somebody with a knife there. Uh, no sanctuary. There. One rainy night. I wonder how many books he has. If he has twenty-eight, and this isn't all of them, he must have quite a plethora of books. Endless Night. Beware. Beware. Meat Cleaver there. This one's not long. The Woods Are Dark. It's not a very long one compared to some of his other ones here. Uh, traveling Vampire Show. The Traveling Vampire Show. Hmm. Body Rides. There, look at that cover. Lightning across his face. Dark Mountain. There. I hope I like his writing. That's all I'm saying. After Midnight. Blood Games. There. I'll have to look up what his most popular ones are and see if I have it. I think this is the one I read. The Stake. I can't even remember what it's about, but this cover certainly looks familiar to me. Must be a vampire one, I'm assuming. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, Curse of the Vampire. And last two. Um, in the Fire. And you can see up here. But I don't mind. I really don't. And come out tonight. And that's it. That's my Richard Lehman book haul. So if I can squeeze them all back in this box how they're supposed to be, that'd be awesome. But I just wanted to pop in and do this quick little video uh, so I can put these books away. And when I go on a Richard Lehman kick, I got some stuff to read. Um, yeah, anyways. I'm going to end this here. It was just really a quick blip of a book haul. And uh, yeah, eBay has a lot of interesting books for sale. But yeah, it can still get kind of pricey because you got to pay the shipping for the most part. Or the ones that I looked at anyways. But um, it was worth it for these for me because I'm like, I hear about Richard Lehman. Um, a lot of people like his books. A lot of people don't. They find them quite, I don't know, sexualized sometimes, the way women are portrayed. I don't know. It's not going to deter me. I'll read the deep, dark, and ugly. And if the story's good, it's good. And, but I can only judge for myself or know myself. Um, if I want to read something, I'm going to read it. And that's the way it goes. 
So anyways, I'm going to get these back and I'm going to say peace, love, and happiness today and every single day. Please like, share, and subscribe if you so choose. But if not, that's okay too. I still love you. I still want all the happiness in the world for each and every one of you out there. I certainly do. I really, really honest and truly do. Yes, I do. So, all right, guys. With that, I'm going to say have a good night or have a good morning. And I might see you tomorrow. Bye. Bloop. Thank you.